presented by the Lincoln Community High School Marching Railers. The Railers are under the direction of Mr. David Swar and the field leadership of drum major Heather Heidbrader. Tonight the Railers will perform four songs from their 2015 show, The Sound of Simon. They are Bridge Over Troubled Water, Still Crazy After All These Years, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover, The Sound of Silence, and You Can Call Me Al. Drum Major Heather Heidbrader, is your band ready for tonight's halftime show? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Marching Railers and the Sound of Simon.
This year, the Railer Band is competing in four field competitions. Three weeks ago, the band placed third at the Washington Field Show, just missing by just missing second place by two tenths of a point. And last week at the Mount Zion Marching Music Games, they took first place in Class 2A and finished second overall. In two weeks, they will be at the ISU Marching Championships. And on Halloween, October 31st, they will compete at the University of Illinois Championships. We would like to thank our parents, fans, boosters, and supporters for everything they do. We couldn't do it without you. How about another hand for the Marching Railers of Lincoln Community High School? Welcome to the field, the 2015 LCHS dance team. LCHS dance team. I'd like to introduce our 2015 homecoming royalty. Our royalty members are gathered near the north end of the track. Come on down in front of the home bleachers as we introduce you. Our freshman attendant, Miss Ashton Rodriguez. Ashton's parents are Dax and Amy Rodriguez. Ashton participates in cheerleading and student government. Freshman attendant, Ashton Rodriguez. Freshman escort is Brandon DeAndrea. Brandon's parents are Marcy and Will DeAndrea. Brandon participates in soccer, track and field, Lincoln Christian Church Youth Group, and band. Freshman escort, Brandon DeAndrea. Our sophomore attendant, Ms. Jaden Lawrence. Jaden's parents are Amy and Sean Lawrence. Jaden participates in football and basketball dance team, 4-H, FFA, dance team at Audra's Studio of Dance, and she is a wrestling team manager. Sophomore attendant, Jaden Lawrence. Our sophomore escort, Mr. Jake Kurgan. Jake's parents are Rich and Melissa Kurgan. Jake participates in baseball, FFA, and the LCHS Bass Fishing Club. Sophomore escort, Jake Kurgan. Our junior attendant, Miss Brittany Trent. Brittany's parents are Ann and Morris Trent. Brittany participates in vars as a varsity volleyball manager and in the Leaf Club. Junior attendant, Brittany Trent. Junior escort, Mr. Scott Lesson. Scott's parents are Rachel and Scott Lesson. 
Scott participates in football and wrestling. Junior escort, Scott Lesson. Our senior attendant, Miss Maddie Guy. Maddie's parents are Sherry Ingram and Jason Guy. Maddie participates in cheerleading and volleyball. Senior attendant, Maddie Guy. Senior escort, Mr. Bryson Hicks. Bryson's parents are Tim and Chris Hicks, and he participates in hunting, FFA, and four-wheeler riding. Senior escort, Bryson Hicks. And our 2015 homecoming queen, Miss Kara Dean. Kara's parents are Amy and Doug Dean. Kara participates on the dance team, the golf team. She is the student government treasurer and is also a member of the FBLA. Our 2015 homecoming queen, Miss Kara Dean. Our 2015 homecoming king is Mr. Jack White. Jack's parents are Derek and Brittany Strubing. Jack participates in golf, FFA, and is a boys basketball manager. Our 2015 homecoming king, Jack White. How a nice round of applause for all of our 2015 homecoming royalty. Our homecoming dance will be tomorrow night in the back gym from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Our 2015 Grand Marshal of our homecoming parade, Mr. Chris Grau. Chris is the owner of Grau Chevrolet Cadillac and Buick here in Lincoln. Chris and Grau Chevrolet support a variety of LCHS sports and activities. Congratulations to our 2015 Parade Grand Marshal, Chris Grau. Can't see his number right now, but we'll pick him up before it's all over with. At 29. You're talking about their receiver, that is the something nine. Or winning 50-50 tickets. Ruchki's going to uh, kick it off. No, that's a three. 23 maybe. So that, that'd, man, they don't have 33, 33. 33, that'd be uh, Will Morris. Will Morris is a junior. He's 5'9", 152. Ruchki is going to kick it away for the rail splitters. Ryan, where's the number 42? He's a senior, 175, 5'8". Ryan Ruchki. And he kicks an onside kick, and number 18 grabs it for the Rockets. That is Logan Kane. Junior, six foot, 180 pounder Logan Kane garnered the onside kick by the rail splitters. That worked to start the game against SHG last week, but I don't think it made him too happy. Yeah, well, it surprised him early in the, at the beginning of the game last week, but yeah, it works once a season, maybe twice if you're lucky. The ball spotted at the 44 yard line of the Rockets, and in there at quarterback, it's still going to be Josh Grant. He's a junior, six foot, 175 pounder. And we're off and running with the running clock. Grant out of the shotgun. And we'll try and pick up who his running back is. Grant's got it. Hands it off to 33 up the middle. That is Will Morris. And that's a case of just what we were talking about at halftime. You know, he just took that handoff and he just darted right through the line and uh, ran hard out to the 45 of the Railers. Got the first down. So that's the third running back we've seen. Will Morris, Alex Ostermeyer, and Hedges. Will Morris, 5'9", 152-pound junior. Josh Grant's a junior, the quarterback. He wears number 14, 6'175 pounder. First and 10 for the Rockets at the rail splitter 45-yard line. Here's the snap, oh. and they hand off again to Morris off the left side, and Garrard was the railer that jumped on him from behind to help bring him down. He's going to be close to a first down, just short of a first down. Yeah, the railers were blitzing up the middle that time, linebacker blitz, and uh, unfortunately he missed the tackle on that. Didn't miss it, just uh, ran by, the guy ran by him, and uh, the blitz uh, didn't work, and he gave him some running room into the secondary. Defensively for the railers up on that front line are Colton Grant, Ben Steiner, Tyler Ferguson, and Zach Prather. The linebackers are Zach Montcom, Scott Lesson, and Trent Whittem. 
Here's the snap to Grant. He's going to keep it this time and run it around the right side. He's got a first down, still on the run. Fights his way down across the 20-yard line before he's taken down. Yeah, he just uh, kind of yeah, just a slight fake of the handoff and just kept the ball going around the right side. And you're right, Bobby's strong and runs hard. Scott Lesson on the tackle for the rail splitters. He's in the Royal Court tonight on homecoming. He's a junior. Strong safety for the Railers is Alex Linares. The cornerbacks are Quentin Bone and KT Garrard. And the free safety is Titus Cannon. Grant out of the shotgun, first and 10. He's got Morris in the backfield with him. And he's going to keep it again. Grant tripped up right about the five yard line, so it'll be first and goal for the Rockets. Linares on the tackle for the rail splitters. They put the ball down on about the seven. His knee went down at the seven. Sam Baker in there. For the Rockets. Grant out of the shotgun. First and goal at the seven. He's got the snap. Hands off. Number 33, I think, had the That ball. was Morris. Will Morris on the run. He's short of the goal line. He kept. He carried a couple tacklers uh, across the five down to about the four on that play. Big Ben Steiner on the tackle for the rail splitters. Steiner 6'2", 280 pound senior. Grant looks to the sideline. He's still got Morris in the backfield with him. They're letting the play clock run down. 10 seconds. Grant calls the snap. Hands off Morris and the Railers wrap him up for a loss. Ball carrier 33, Will Morris. Hit initially by 13, Anthony Baker. On the initial hit for the rail splitter was Anthony Baker. He's a sophomore, 165-10. Baker got across the line of scrimmage into the backfield there, Bob. And uh, at first I thought it looked like he was almost grabbed a face mask, but he held onto his shoulder and pulled him down for a loss. Looks like they're coming out of a power eye now in the backfield. They've got Nick Capriotti and Sam Baker. And the handoff will have... That's 41, I think. That's 41. That's Capriati. 41 ball carrier, Nick Capriati. He's Nick right down to the goal line on it. He just uh, wasn't going to be denied, Bob. He was just uh, kept churning those legs and got it right down near the goal line. So it's going to be fourth and goal for the Rockets. Nick Capriati, number 41, 5'10", 175 pounder. He's a sophomore. 42 is Sam Baker. He's 5'9", 183 pounder. He's a junior fullback. So they'll line up in an eye behind their quarterback, Grant. They're going to hand it. Oh. Looks like Capriati again. He's in. He's in for the touchdown. Well, I thought he was stopped there for a second there in the backfield, but he got in. I agree with you. I thought he did too, but he gave that extra effort to make it 52-0 in favor of the Rockets. Let's we'll see who they bring on to kick. That's Capriati's second running touchdown. He had an 18-yarder to... Uh, Finish out there scoring in the second quarter, and he starts scoring here in the third with a one-yard plunge. Nick Capriati on the six-pointer. This is going to be Richards on the extra point attempt, and it is up high enough, long enough, and through the uprights makes it 53-0. We'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, uh, Sam Knox just told us about a halftime score. At halftime, it's Sacred Heart Griffin Cyclones 24 and the Glenwood Titans 10. So that's closer than I thought it would have been. It's at Glenwood. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's still got a half to go there. But yeah, it was, uh, Glenwood's right in the game, only down two touchdowns. Richard's going to kick it away. For the Rockets. This Bob is more than likely going to be uh, Dan Rourke's last year at Glenwood. At least he's retiring as an AD. And if it... Indeed is from football, you know, a win against SHT would be a great thing for him. Here's the boot. 
And one of the Raiders slap it down. Is that Gerard? Is that number two? Yeah. KT Gerard's the guy that got it. And then we heard uh, rumors that a Lincoln alumni may have a shot at that job. <coughs> well, there are a lot of rumors out there. You never know. A lot of rumors. never know what to believe. They could call you back out. That's not a rumor. That's, that's not a rumor. Not a possibility. Well, I just thought I'd throw it out there. Yeah, that's all right. Take, all right. Take it back. Okay, I'll get, let's reel it back in. <laughs> First and ten for the rail splitters. Hal's going to operate out of the shotgun again. He's got a man in motion. Oh, a whoa. Pitch, almost threw it away. He did. That was... Uh, that was 10. Who was that? That was 10. That was a new quarterback. I thought it was. Hiles wouldn't have done that. He just kind of tossed it out there in the air. You know, there was a... Quentin Bone. There was a railer in that area, but he just kind of tossed it out there, and, and the Rockets just fell on it. it was, that's kind of a gift. I think that was Bone. That running back still in there now, Sam Baker. And Capriati, number 41. Yeah, interesting on that play. Josh Green, 19's in there. Is that the new quarterback? Four. Nick Baker is the new quarterback, a sophomore. It's Johnny Unitas' is old number 19. In a quarterback for the Rockets, number 19, Nick Baker. Nick Baker's got this. Hands off to Capriati. Capriati! Down inside the five-yard line before he's wrestled down. Walk area number 41, Nick Capriati, tackled by 44, Scott Lesson. Tackled by number 44, Scott Lesson. He gets the ball down inside the 10, down in inside the five, actually, I think, to the four-yard line. Ben Steiner back out on the field for the rail splitters. First and goal for the Rockets. They lead at 53-0. 4.26 left for the third quarter. Rockets let that play clock run down. Baker. Baker. Hands off. I didn't pick up who that was either. It was either Baker. Gunner Monocle. Gunner Monocle. Senior. Gunner's a senior. 5'11", 175 pound fullback. Gunner Monocle. We've got, looks like 88 in there. Yeah, a lot of number changes. Or is that 86? Baker out of the shotgun. Hands off. Touchdown. Ball carrier number 88. Brent Summer. Oh, he's 86. We don't have an 88 on our sheet. Well, that's how many keys are on a piano, 88. Got the touchdown. Yeah. 59-0. Okay. We'll just call him number 88. Number 88. Wow. They still got Richards in the kick. Let's see. 88's kicking. 88's kicking. So he's gonna, he might get seven points on this play. <laughs> That's how many keys there are on a piano. Well, they blow the play dead. Bringing in an extra guy. False start offense. That's going to bring it back. Five yards. The goal post is 10 yards behind the goal line. The ball is going to be placed at the 15. So it'll be a 25-yard extra point by number 88. 88 in the witness protection program, and his kick is up and no good. So it'll remain 59-0. We'll be back in 50 seconds, 30 seconds. Don't forget to stop by Mama's Arcade Cafe. Great homemade breakfast and lunch meals served at 513 Pulaski Street in historic downtown Lincoln. Phone 735-1443. That's Mama's Arcade Cafe. And if you like some good pizza, 
call up Stuff to Ria Pizza on the Logan Street curve in Lincoln. Open seven days a week for carryout, drive through, and fast, friendly delivery. Phone 732 3100. Stuff to Ria on the Logan Street curve. Here's the kick by Richards. And it's going to come to Nathan Pudnight. Pudnight's at the 10. And he cuts up across the 20 yard line before he's taken down, maybe right at the 20. Nathan Putnight on the return for the Raylands, tackled by 54. Putnight wears the number 11. Good strong running back. Putnight's a junior, 5'9, 141 pounder. He gets up across the 20 yard line. First and 10 for the Raylands, 305 left for the third quarter. The Rockets lead at 59-0. This is Bone again at quarterback, Bob. I didn't think we even had him listed as a quarterback. Pudnight goes in motion. Oh, he hands it off up the gut. Nice play to the 25. Let's see who that is. That's uh, Cannon. That was just a little, uh, like a little shovel pass up the middle there. He uh, faked the pitch and then turned around, made a nice pivot, and uh, get a little pitch forward. Titus Cannon. It was a nice little play there. Was. Second and six now for the rail splitters. Fake to have the Rochester defense momentarily. Quentin Bone out of the shotgun. He's got a man in motion. He pitches it to Titus Cannon. Cannon looks for a runner room. He gets across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Yeah, he didn't have much running room as he's going into the short side of the field on the right side. 41 Third and six for the rail splitters. In that quarterback for the call. Josh Yeah, it's a. I would. Yeah, I don't know if it's two down territory here for the Railers or not, but they've got a couple subs in there themselves, and. Uh, somebody we haven't seen much here in the last couple of weeks on offense, Bob, is uh, Andrew Yant. That's right. There's Bone. Now he pitches it up ahead to Pudnight. Pudnight looks for some running room, and he just gets back to the See, line of scrimmage. That's, that's the same play they ran two plays ago, only the opposite direction, and uh, the Rockets were there to stop it this time. Uh, worked once for him. A good execution there, but the defense was just there looking for it and stopped it. Yeah, uh, Pudnight, he took a beating that one game, and we haven't seen much of him. He had like... Uh, of Andrew Yon, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Yon, yeah. yeah. had like 30 carries. But he's been playing on the defensive side a little bit, so yeah, I just... Yeah, you're right. I don't know what happened there. He was a hard runner. Bones got the play. He's going to punt it. We're in the red. 53 seconds left, third quarter. Bone with a nice boot. And the Railers got a backward spin on it and they finally down it about the Lincoln 35 yard line. Oh, we got a clock still running. We're just about out of the third period here with about 35 seconds to go. Well they say that was Lenaris on the punt. Chester takes over first and ten. Or he downed it. One or the other. Well it was it was a punt I guess in theory. Yeah. yeah. In description only and not a great one but They're going to run that clock down to end the third quarter. Yeah, I don't think they'll run a play here until fourth. So at the end of 36 minutes, it's Rochester 59, Lincoln 0. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Lincoln Railer football on WLCN 96.3 FM and streaming live at WLCNonline.com is brought to you by Growl Incorporated, Fifth Street Food Mart, Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, The Carpet House, Rick Ham State Farm Insurance, Lincoln IGA, Town and Country Bank, Eaton Corporation, Lincoln College, Lincoln Heating and Cooling, Lincoln Printers, Friendship Manor, Bright Ideas Screen Printing and Embroidery, Corey Leonard Shelter Insurance, Mama's Arcade Cafe, Collision Concepts, Headline Salon LLC, AG Farms and Trucking, Lincoln Public Library, Seth Goodman at Me Realty, Memorial Sports Care at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital, Chicago Street Runnels on North Tickapoo Street in Lincoln, Anytime Fitness, Family Custom Cleaners Tanning, Laundry Mat, and U-Haul. And Stuffed Aria Pizza. 
hey, if you need a hairdo or a haircut, Headline Salon LLC at 123 South Sangamon, the old karate dojo place for Yoshikai. Visit Brett, Liz, Jenna, and Danielle at 123 South Sangamon in historic downtown Lincoln. Phone 217-651-8310 with walk-ins welcome. That's right, you can just walk in and get your hair done. And also, it's that time of year, AG Farms and Trucking, now hiring licensed CDL drivers and grain farmhands. Phone 217-737-2560 for more information. Well, it's going to be uh, Rockets football. The quarterback is Nick Baker. He hands it off, and that's number 42. That's another Baker oh. kid. The flag on the play. That was Sam Baker on the run. That was Len Lenaris on the tackle. I don't know what the flag's for. It looked like he had some jersey. I didn't think he had anything illegal. No, it's going to be an offensive holding. That's good. Lenaris did a nice job of dragging him down. And the penalty will go against the men in orange, the uh, Rochester Rockets. That's a hold. So I think that's a 10-yard walk off from the plot spot of the foul. Nick Baker, the quarterback for the Rockets. Ball now back at the Lincoln 43-yard line. The running clock is in vogue now. And the Rockets showing their sportsmanship by just letting the play clock run down. Hey, the quarterback looks to the sideline. They tell him when it's time to start their play. And then uh, they set it down the line. And there they go. Raiders are going to blitz. That's 54. 54 on the run. And that is Chris Stell. And he gets deep into Lincoln territory down to the 10-yard line. Yeah, I thought he was going all the way. The Railers, uh, Lenaris is over there. He's limping off now, though. But uh, there were a couple Railers that chased him all the way down there and stopped him just in, just at the 10-yard line. Chris Steele, 5'9", 175-pound senior. And we're going to have a timeout here, I know, for an injury. Railers have a man down. And I think that's Alex Lenaris. Now he gets back up, but he's limping. He said, nobody's coming out to help me. I guess I'll get back up and limp off. Yeah. Here they come. Alex Linares, number 21 for the rail splitters. He's a junior, six foot, 175 pounder, hard player. Looks like he's, I don't know if he's got a cramp maybe. It's hard to see here. Yeah, yeah I think that's what he's, he's got. He's got a cramp, yeah. Thank God yeah, that's all it is. Hate to see you guy get hurt. <laughs> Nick Baker. He, he hands it off. Twenty-six Will Drendel, the ball carrier for the Rockets. Twenty-six Will Drendel. Initially by 33. The Railers did miss uh, one starter tonight, Bob, with injury, and that's Seth Gleason, one of their big linemen, 6'1", 275. Uh, well, he's had a hip injury and did not play tonight. You know what's good for your hips is those ginger snap cookies. Really? Uh, yeah, it takes take, down swelling. Take a box to Seth this week, would you? Yeah, all right. <laughs> There's the hand. Oh, nice Lincoln quickly there. covered that. It was... 44 and 90. 54, Chris Steele, the ball carrier. Scott Lesson for the Railers. And 96 also. Is on the Who's the other guy? A 96. 96, that's Prather. He was in on it after. Zach Prather, was a, he was a secondary hit. <laughs> 54 in there for the Rockets. We just, we saw a little bit of him. He ran, that's... Uh, Chris Steele. He, oh, he had that long run down to the yeah. 10. He's 5'9", 175, senior. Nick Baker's got the snap, and he hands it off to Steele, and Steele's not going to go anywhere. Oh, he stopped. Student body pushes him back on homecoming night. 44, Joe Gleason's ball carrier, stopped by 44, Scott Lesson. Lesson was leading the way. He's in the Royal Court. He's a junior. They got a fourth down now and goal for the Rockets, and the Railers would like to keep him out of the end zone here, keep the score under 60. 
They've got Sam Baker in there. Are they going to try and kick a field goal? Well, they may. I mean, it's good practice. They may need one down the road. Now Baker is just going over to get the play. Well, I can see them doing it to get a little practice at it, Bob. But yeah, yeah. as far as score-wise, they don't need the points, obviously. But well, Baker's going to come up under court, under center, and they blow it dead. I think they had some <laughs> wide receivers take off a little yeah. early. Five-yard penalty. You know, it got pretty chilly last night. Not where I live. There's an Indian encampment. Oh. And they took off. Fire. They headed south. Oh. Yeah. Well, I started a fire, but the Indians took off. Yeah. Kickapoo Indians. A lot of people thought they were ran off in 1830, but they're still they still come up every summer. Yeah. Yeah. I think Bill will have this in his write up. Baker up under center. He pitches it in the backfield. That's steel. Uh, steel along the sideline, and they knock him out of bounds. Yeah, that's good. Chris Steele. So the Railers will take over on downs. Stopped by number 10, Quentin Bone. That yeah, was a good, uh, good stand there with the Railer defense. 18 checking in for the Railers. That's Josh Lenaris. Scott Lesson in there for the Railers. Are they going to keep Bone at quarterback? Let's see. Here comes Cannon off, Cannon off, but uh, Yacht stays on. Here's the snap and the handoff. That's Scott Lesson oh, on the run. on the ball. He lost the ball, but he got it back. 44, Scott Lesson, the ball carrier. Quentin Bone handed it off to Scott Lesson. And now Bone's going to come off. And uh, Yant's in. Uh, he's probably going to quarterback. Yant's going to quarterback it. And here comes uh, the younger Lenaris boy, Josh Lenaris. He's a sophomore, 5'8", uh, 150. Okay. Is that Yant coming here to the near side? Yeah. Yeah. There's the snap. Is it? Oh. Check see who that is on the run. Who is the quarterback for? Is that Bone again? Yeah. Yeah. Crabtree yeah. Crab on the run. He's one of the captains for the Railers. He gets it out to the 15. It's going to be a third and about four, maybe four and a half. Joe Gleason on the tackle for Rochester. Third down and four. The Joe Gleason I know is a Vietnam veteran from Lincoln. Oh, there must be more than one. Yeah. Bone out of the shotgun. He's got the snap. And I think that's Lesson again. Yeah. Oh, he, 44. He's a tough runner. He gets across the... Uh, kept driving his legs. 15-yard line. Kind of leaning backwards there. Well, at this stage, might as well go for it. Yeah. 4.35 on the clock. Oh, there we go. Good buddy Mike Thornton on the clock from the class of 1970. He was with Johnny V, Rich Stribling, Seymour Reed, and a cast of thousands. Quentin Bone out of the shotgun. And a handoff. Try and pick up who that is. Well, that was Crabtree again for the rail splitters. He come up a little short. Next week we'll be over in the Decatur area. Decatur MacArthur. I've been at that field for a long time. No. Back in the Big 12 days. I remember going over there to do a basketball game once with uh, Mr. Cece, Chuck Cece. Mm -hmm. And the equipment just burned up, went up in smoke. Well, let's not have that happen again. No. Well, we got new stuff now. After that, I always carried an extra phone with me. Back then, they had phone jacks. Oh, they they didn't have cell phones. Remember Chuck Cece? Oh, absolutely. Great. He was a great running back for Griffin back in the day. Well, he had some great boys playing football here at Lincoln yeah. High School. Chris, class of 95. Chris Chad. 
boy. He just Rochester. keeps driving. Keeps driving. Keeps those legs moving. Yep. I think Coach Leonard probably would just soon not score here and then get but you know you can't tell your kids not to play. You got to put. He's got underclassmen in the on the field now anyway, and they'll run that game clock, play clock down every time. Both the Bakers in there, Nick Baker, Sam Baker. Up on that line, they've got uh, well, Cro Arnold Kroos or Kroos Arnold. You'd be tempted to bring your uh, guys covering the wideouts in, in tight because they're not going to throw it to them. <laughs> Give yourself an you extra go. That's tap 53 on. on the run. He drags them down to about the one. Jeffrey Thomas. 53, Jeffrey Thomas, the ball carrier for Rockets. Jeffrey Thomas is a junior. Where's number 53? 5'9", 175-pounder. He's a center and a defensive tackle, but he got the handoff that time. Canadian geese flying overhead. Right. They're just uh, milking the clock now. They may just take a knee here to kill it. Baker and takes does. the knee, so that's a loss of a yard. Yeah, they just they don't want to run it up to 60. No. Derek Leonard's a nice guy. Upcoming games for he and his dad both. Team. Yeah. Kenny. Coming up on well, they say Ken's got about four years left at Racha or at uh, SHG. Yeah, maybe. You know, uh, I'm sure he can be there as long as he wants. But uh, hey, they both uh, say what you want. They both uh, have great football teams. Do a good job coaching young men. Yeah, class guys. We're going to see maybe one more play here, and that'll be it. We're in the red, as the old clocks were. It's too bad because there's even a freshman in there. We talked about Nick Davis earlier. He's in on the field, but uh, taking a knee, there's not much action for him. But they were in the game. Rochester just going to go to the sideline. They're going to line up and shake hands. Yeah. That the final score is going to be Rochester Rockets 59 and the Lincoln Rail Splitter 0. Don't forget to check out Collision Concepts located at 1005 Macon next to Culver's and Lincoln. Logan County's premier collision facility wishes the best of luck to the 2015 Railer football team. Go Railers! And also stop by your Lincoln Public Library located at 725 Pekin Street. Calling all riders grades 6 through 12. You can join a community of teens taking the challenge to write a novel during the month of November. Come to the Lincoln Public Library on Thursday, October 15th at 6 p.m. to learn how to get started. If you want to get in shape, Shape, go by Anytime Fitness in Lincoln. It's located at 716 North Logan Street and open 24 hours a day all year long. The perfect health club for your busy lifestyle. Phone 217-732-1155 today for great rates. And then there's Memorial Sports Care out at Abraham Lincoln Memorial Hospital. Phone 217, see you Mike, 217-605-5008. And stop by the beautiful all-new facility located at 200 Stallhut Drive in Lincoln. And for your insurance needs, there's Corey Leonard Shelter Insurance located at 5 511 Pulaski Street in historic downtown Lincoln. Give Corey a call at 217-732-4663 for all of your insurance needs specializing in auto, home, and life. And whether buying or selling, you need a Lincoln Railer alumni, Seth Goodman, realtor and broker at ME Realty, located at 222 North McLean Street in Lincoln. View his listings at selfsellslincoln.com and phone 217-737-737. 3742, open 24 hours a day. And then there's the Chicago Street Rentals who have moved, stopped by their beautiful huge location at 1909 North Kickapoo, right next to Grau Incorporated, specializing in the rentals of contractors' equipment, tools, yard machinery, almost anything you need. Ask about monthly storage rentals too, phone 217-735-2422 today. And then there's the great Family Custom Cleaners. That's the boards. They're out there on uh, 621 Woodlawn Road. They've got tanning, 24-hour laundromat, and U-Haul 
dealer. Uh, watch for dry cleaning and super tanning specials with 24 laundromat available. 24 hour laundromat. Phone 735 2505 for more information. And also, don't forget our friends uh, at uh, Clinton and Sangamon Streets Bright Ideas Screen Printing, Embroidery, and Unique Gifts, your Everything Railers headquarters. Stop by the showroom located at the corner of Clinton and Sangamon Streets in Lincoln and phone 732 3111. Specializing in large team orders with great team discounts.